In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a backup of your current ROM. Um, this is useful if you want to flash a custom ROM and ever need to flash back to your original carrier's ROM for warranty or other purposes. So for example, on the XDA forums, I have the Rogers branded ROMs for version 2.3.4, um, 2.3.3, and 2.3.2. Uh, this should work for any Xperia. I've done it for both the X10 and the ARC. Um, there are other pages where people have collected the original firmware, so these are original 1.6 firmwares for the X10. And these are some of the custom ROMs that people are using for the X10 as well as the ARC. But this again should work for any Xperia device. Uh, so to start off, um, I find it easier to do the backup using update service. So update service instead of a PC companion. Um, unfortunately, Sony Ericsson has removed update service from the downloads for the Xperia Arc and the X10, but you can go to my MediaFire folder and download update service. So once you've done that and installed uh, PC Companion and update service, you need both of them so your phone is recognized by your computer. You're going to need to download the flash tool. Um, this is for later use to extract the firmware files. So this is the flash tool and this is the actual website and you need to download both parts so the flash tool and the update so once you've downloaded both those files you're just going to install them and uh, start up the flash tool but you won't need it, need it just yet so we're done with this um, so to start off, you're going to want to open up the folder where Sony Ericsson Update Service saves all the files. Um, this folder is typically found in program files. Sony Ericsson, Update Service, DB, and then 1374270. If you can't find it, the easiest way to do it is to just perform a search on your computer using F3 or using... Um, whatever search tool you've got on your computer and just search for this folder. So once you've gotten that folder open, um, on a 32-bit on a system you'll, you'll leave out the x36 or 86. This is on a 64-bit system. So just go into that folder, go into blobfs, and you're going to see a whole bunch of files in here. Uh, most of them should be very small files, a couple of K, and once the download starts with the firmware then you'll see the larger files. Um, so the first thing you want to do is click on date modified at the top here and make sure the arrow is pointing down. This means that newest files will appear at the top. Um, so when you start downloading you're going to be able to uh, copy those files out and run the extraction on them. Next you're going to launch update service and let it check for all the updates and once the program started you can start the update process. Just to mention this will only create an update of whatever firmware is currently on your phone. So if you've already flashed a custom firmware, that update service obviously won't download that custom firmware again. It'll only download whatever firmware is already on the phone, and you can then extract those files. So if you're running an original carrier firmware, then you can run update service and force it to download and reinstall that same carrier firmware. So for example, on my Sony Ericsson Arc, I'm currently running a generic US North American firmware without the Rogers uh, carrier uh, branding and I'm going to run update service on this firmware to uh, make update service download the firmware and get a copy of this generic firmware. So to start off, run update service, uh, click on the accept and click on start. Next, choose whatever phone you're updating. So I'm updating the ARC. Click on next. Now it's going to tell you to connect your phone in flash mode. So connect your phone to your computer. Uh, battery's out. And then what I do is hold the back button and insert the battery. This is just kind of awkward because I'm doing this with one hand. And hold the back button and insert the battery. You're going to get the green light plus the USB sounds that mean your phone's connected and update service will pick up the your phone. 
Sony Ericsson update service will say that your phone has already the latest firmware or it might uh, ask you to download a newer firmware if you don't already have it. So at this point you're going to click on install and force it to reinstall the firmware. It's going to say that your phone's going to be wiped. So before you do this, as always, back up all your information, back up all your data, your text messages, um, either over the air or using pr free programs like SMS backup, um, APN backup and restore, and titanium backup. So clicking yes, and it's going to start downloading uh, the firmware. So now if you go into that blobfs folder, you're going to see three files appear at the top. And if you hit refresh, which is F5, you'll see the file sizes change as this downloads. Once the firmware is finished downloading, you're going to copy these three files into another folder, such as the flash tool folder. And from there, you can do the extraction and uh, create the firmware flash file. So once the firmware has finished downloading, it's going to install onto your phone. And if you hit refresh in the blobfs folder, you'll see that these files won't change anymore. So what you want to do is copy these three files and put them in another folder. So I, I'm putting them in the flash tool folder. And just remember where you save them. Next, you're going to go into the flash tool and just make sure that you're running it as administrator or else you might get some errors. Now go into advanced and go to decrypt files. You're going to navigate to the folder where you saved all your firmwares. So I put it in E flash tool. And I'm going to click on open. Next, select the three files and click OK. So it's going to start decrypting these files. And from there, it's going to create the flash tool uh, firmware file. Once it's finished decryption, it's going to open up, it's going to list all the files it extracted, select all of them, and move them to the right. Next, name the firmware appropriately. So this is an ARC LT15A for North America, version 2.3.4, and generic branding. And click OK. Now it's going to ask you to select the appropriate uh, loader file. So this is the the installer file for the, the firmware. So just make sure you select your correct uh, device. So this is an ARC and just click OK. It's going to go ahead and create this bundle and create the flash tool file. So once that's finished, if you go into the flash tool and go into firmwares, you'll see your flash tool file. And that's how you make a backup of your generic or your carrier branded ROM. Once your phone's been updated, uh, just go to the Zerg Rush video and download uh, Zerg Rush to root your phone again. I'm just going to unplug the phone and restart it. And as you can see, it's rebooted and it has the generic firmware. Uh, without any carrier branding. I'm just going to go through setup. Uh, most of the time this automatic download doesn't work so hopefully you've uh, backed up your APN settings or written them or wrote them down so you can enter them in manually. And there you have the latest 2.3.4 on a generic build, and that's how you uh, do a backup of your ROM. Um, for those that don't know how to enter in their wireless settings, wireless and networks, mobile networks, and access points, option, new APN, and either back this up using uh, a program on the market or enter in all this information manually to get uh, your 3G again. 
And just to show that this is a Rogers LT17A um, phone. So there it is. And that's how you back up your ROM. As always, if anything goes wrong, use Update Service or PC Companion to flash your phone or use the flash tool or use Wotan server. So there are four ways of fixing your phone.